Okay, so I'm refilming this as unfortunately when I filmed it initially, I uh, filmed it in the wrong uh, file format and unfortunately what that does is I'm, I'm unable to actually put this into my editing software so I'm going to just narrate uh, over this this played back video and I'm, I'm recording it so there may there may be quite a kind of drop in video quality so my apologies for that beforehand but we just have to roll with it. At the end of the day, we're going to see exactly what we want to see. So it's, it's fine. We we move, we live and learn. We move forward. Let's do it. So here you can see I'm uh, using 3090. So if we can see it's your 3090. This is the Inno3D uh, Chill 3 uh, 3 fan variant. You can see it's in slot 10 on the mining rig up here, as I'm pointing now. It's mining at 74 mega hash per second. And at that uh, at that configuration, it is hitting on the memory temperature 94 to 92 degrees, which, as you know, is probably, if you're watching this video, is probably a bit high. So... What I'm going to be trying to do, let's just pause it again. What I'm going to be trying to do is, my, over the next one or two videos, I'm going to be trying different things in order to try and drop that memory temperature while increasing that hash rate. So, when I was filming this, I was hoping, with some of the things that I was going to be doing, I was hoping that I'd be getting 110 mega hash for maybe, let's say, roughly the same memory temperature. 94 or lower degrees for 110 mega hash. And at the time of filming this, with the stock uh, card in its stock configuration, I was only able to basically achieve 74 mega hash at, at that memory junction temperature. Uh, you do need to know I have got a massive Noctua 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters fan attached very closely to the back plate of the 3090 graphics card. So this is actually better than stock temperatures. The fan did make a difference um, being attached on the back plate. I can't remember fully what the difference what the difference was, but it was you know it was it was a couple degrees definitely. So that that helped. Something to note as well is like just where this this mining rig is. The the airflow is not fantastic, so that does need to be noted. And also, I think at the time of filming this, the ambient temperature here in Edinburgh was fairly high because this, this is being recorded during the summer and actually we've had very, very good weather recently. So the ambient temperature is exceedingly good, uh, exceedingly high. Um, so that, that, that is somewhat contributing to uh, the temperatures being seen here. Bye. Let's let's crack on. So here, I'm just showing I'm just showing what the configuration of the graphics card is. In order to achieve this 54 mega hash, I have power limited the card to 59%. Um, I've underclocked the memory, so I'm sitting on a minus 502 uh, memory. Uh, Underclock. You can see over here on the left hand side on GPU Z that the G GPU clock is sitting at 675 uh, megahertz. I'm sitting at all fans at 85%. So, and you, and you can see that again over here. Obviously, you see the, the fan speeds. 
So from here, let's see what let's see what happens. What I was gonna do is I basically go on to apply uh, some extra metal to the back plate. So let's see what the extra metal on the back plate does. So this is the uh, VRAM copper heat sinks that I added to the back of the 3090. They're done by Easy Cargo and you get 10 pieces within a pack. Uh, you can see here I purchased them on the 3rd of July 2021, very recently. And I only purchased one pack actually, just to note, but I'll show a wee image right now of the, the kind of layout of how I added them to the back of the card. And you can see here they're saying they got a thermal conductivity of 401 uh, watts per MK, whatever MK is. Aluminium compared to copper in terms of thermal conductivity. Uh, aluminium I think is 60% of the, the thermal conductivity of copper. So I thought it'd be a great idea to get solid copper and add this to the back of the card and see what the effect was. So yeah, I'll link uh, this product in the description box below. Go and check out if you're interested. Okay, so you can see here, this is the, the mod I did to the back of the card. And you can see obviously the copper, uh, the 10 copper heat sinks that I added to the back. And I added them basically in in a design like, it's, it's how the, where the VRAM uh, chips are. So there's one here and then the rest, I can't remember how many exactly there is in the back here, but they're, they're in this sort of shape. And um, you can see actually the card has already got a design where they try and increase the, the kind of metal area to dissipate that heat with these this wee bumps and notches. So one thing to note for sure is the contact, the contact of these copper, um, these copper pads to the to the actual back plate isn't fantastic. Um, but I decided to go with it. I decided let's see what the effect is uh, with them like kind of directly on top of where the chips uh, contact the back plate. So this is this is actually what I went with. So after doing the remod, we are back checking out what the temperatures what the memory temperature is specifically, that's what we're interested in. And unfortunately, it hasn't done anything. <laughs> it hasn't done anything. So, I was, I, I had good feelings, I had good feelings, but I've, uh, I let this thing it's been running, it's been back up and running, as you can see here, for 15 minutes. And it's been, that, that back play has been soaking up the temperature. And unfortunately, as you can see, it's actually just the same. It is fluctuating between 92 and 94 degrees Celsius on the memory. Um, so I'm a little, you know, I didn't... I didn't think that it was going to do a great amount because you know I only had eight of these copper, uh, copper bits of copper. <laughs> I only had eight of these uh, copper heat sinks, so I, I wasn't too sure. But unfortunately, this has done nothing. It's basically exhibiting the exact same behaviors. So if we walk through it again, this is the card is set with to the exact same um, settings. We've got a memory clock of uh, minus 502. We got our power limit set to 59%. We got both fans, as you can see, both fans 80, 85%. Uh, there is the power uh, limit. And unfortunately, yeah, basically it's exactly the same. Memory temperature is fluctuating between 92 and 94 degrees and that's exactly the same as uh, the performance uh, without the Wii mod. So after doing all that, nothing, no difference. <laughs> so 
It could be, you know, there could be a couple of things there. Maybe, maybe there's just not enough metal in general. Maybe, maybe you need a lot more metal to dissipate that heat over. You know, I'm not too, I'm not too sure what what you would be requiring basically. But maybe you need a lot more metal because obviously there's a lot of heat there. Um, it could obviously be the connection because, like I said, the connection between the the metal metal or copper heat sinks an actual back plate because as you can see from uh, me me adding these on it was only basically it was only a very wee bit a very small bit of conductive tape that actually is connecting together so whew, i don't know i don't know maybe you want a nice big bit of thermal pad on there you know to to transfer the heat uh, through to the heat sinks i don't know but i thought it was I thought it's been worth doing anyway, just to investigate if these wee heat sinks uh, did anything for the for the many temperatures. Unfortunately, not. Unfortunately, not. But you know, we live and learn. We move on, and uh, it's just one of those situations. I don't know what I'm gonna do next. I'm not too sure. I might, I might take the card apart. I don't, I don't know if I want to take it apart just in the minute just because when once you take that back play off you just voided your warranty so i don't know it's an expensive card and i don't know if i want to go down that route just in a minute i had a good look actually um looking at the 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 thermal pads that are on the card and i think they look actually fairly decent maybe if I took the card apart obviously I could get a better uh, look at the thermal pads and maybe I would discover that they are complete trash they're just bits of paper I don't know but it, it looked actually better than I was thinking I was it looks like they're, they're using something something okay under there but um you know, you, you don't know what they're using, so maybe actually the thermal conductivity or those thermal pads, maybe it's absolutely trash. You know, I don't know, I don't know, but uh, I'll I'll think about maybe doing that in part <laughs> in part uh, part two. I'll think about possibly taking the card apart and putting those thermal pads on. Uh, I've already, actually already bought them in, so I bought some nice. I think they're called like ther thermatake or something like that thermal pads loads of different varieties so i might i might do that we'll see give me a shout out in the comment section below and tell me what i could possibly do in order to reduce these temperatures link me to products link me to whatever tell me what i should do to possibly reduce these temperatures so i can get the hash rate up a great deal and i'm very interested in suggestions for doing this without removing and breaking that warranty on your card hit me up epic